You're right guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this Perspex Globe money box. Now I'm also going to be launching my very first project pack. Now this is available to buy on my website, I'll leave a link in the description. Included in the project pack, you get two custom etched and cut out Perspex pieces ready to go, holes drilled, countersunk, all that good stuff. It doesn't have to be a globe, it can be any shape and design you like. You'll also get step by step instructions, you'll get the felt base to put on the base of your money box, you'll get the screws and you'll also get the self adhesive template for cutting out your filler section yourself. So if you like the idea of just having all the materials ready to go in one neat package, check out the project packs, link in the description. The first thing to tackle on this project is creating the etched perspex pieces. I have a CO2 laser cutter which is an ideal tool for both etching and cutting out the perspex, however it isn't a necessity. I have a video which I'll link below showing how you can etch or engrave perspex using a simple rotary tool just by hand. Another option of course is to purchase the project pack and get your custom perspex pieces made for you. To keep the exterior of the perspex smooth I opt to mirror the image and to etch the inside of the perspex. This way the image looks correct when viewed from the other side. I also etched points for where to drill holes later. After the etching is done it's just a case of getting the laser to cut out the perspex too. The back piece is cut exactly the same just without any decorative etching. With those both cut I could head to the drill press and drill where I etched the marks using a 3.5mm drill bit. After drilling the holes I countersunk them with a countersink bit making sure the heads of the screws sat below the surface. That's the perspex piece is done, now on to the filler piece. This could be any rigid material you like, I opted to use plywood as I really like the look of exposed plywood edges. I glued up a square block slightly larger than the perspex pieces, I went with three layers of 18mm plywood. You can of course make the filler piece as thick as you like, the thicker the piece the more space inside the money box. With the glue dry I could add the self adhesive template to the block and cut it out at the bandsaw. A bandsaw is really the best tool for this operation but you could also use a scroll saw, a jigsaw or even a coping saw by hand. After sanding I decided to paint the faces of the plywood black just to make it look neater. It then got three coats of spray lacquer. I didn't apply finish to the base of the filler piece so the felt base will adhere a lot better. With a slightly oversized piece of felt base cut, I sprayed it with spray adhesive and applied it to the base. Once it was dry, I trimmed it flush with scissors. Now it's time to fit the perspex pieces. It's as simple as laying them onto the filler piece, marking where the holes fall, and drilling with a pilot hole using the same 3.5mm bit. I did this with a hand drill but it could be done at the drill press too. With the holes drilled it's just a case of adding the screws and the money box is complete. Thank you. 
So I really hope you like this one guys, as you can see it can be literally any design you like really, just as long as you've got that slit in the top to be able to put coins in, anything can become a money box as soon as you sandwich it together. And as I've said, if you don't really fancy doing the perspex pieces yourself and you like the idea of everything just being bundled in, do make sure you check out the project packs available on my website. Hopefully I'll be able to release more project packs for suitable projects in the future too, so keep an eye out for them. Thank you all for watching, I really hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down, make sure you leave a comment, get subscribed and click the bell icon for notifications too. Thank you all for watching again.